Hey guys, oh, what's going on? It's my hair, look at that, boom. All right, anyway, back to me, not back to my hair, not back to me, not back to art, not back to me. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this no makeup Hey everyone, it's Liz and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this no makeup makeup look and it's really simple, really easy. It takes me a little bit longer to explain because you know I like to talk. So, you know. <laughs> hey, I am so excited to be sharing this with you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I really love the support and if you're not already, then don't forget to follow me on social media as well you know the deal i have it all laid out for you um with annotations here yeah i don't want to make this intro super duper long i almost got to do an intro that's why i have my camera in my hand right now but i kind of like it you know you know anyway thank you guys so much for watching and let's get on to this video first thing i'm going to be doing is taking my mac fix plus and i'm going to spray that all over my face as a primer Oh, that stuff just, oh, it feels so good. It feels so good. All right, and then I'm gonna let this dry, and then I'm gonna apply like a very light layer of the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer. It's oil free, which is really good. Um, I've been using this a lot, and it's really, really amazing. It really keeps my makeup on all day, and I'm let me tell you, like a nine hour shift. Okay, okay. Um, and I wear like a lot of makeup because. I obviously work at a place that sells makeup, so I had to wear makeup. So, um, I've used Elias. I usually just do one square and then I just apply it onto my face like so. And a little goes a long way, believe me. And I just lightly put that into my skin. So excuse my eyebrows at the moment. I wanted to get them done today. I don't think I'm going to have time to do that. Um, they are super duper hairy because the last time I got them done was in the end of September. Okay, okay. Enough about that. So I kind of just let that like sink into my skin and before this too also I applied my moisturizer, I like I cleansed my face just to get all the makeup off from last night and then I put uh, moisturizer on my face as well because it's always a good thing to do before you do your makeup, you know. So I'm going to take um, a new foundation that I've been using which I've been loving and it's the Dior Skin Star, uh, the studio makeup one, this spectacular brightening weight loss, perf weightless. <laughs> <laughs> weight loss what weightless perfection with sunscreen it has SPF 30 in it which is always a good thing we need SPF in our foundation and our like moisturizers and thing because you only have one skin you want to protect it okay before I do my foundation I'm gonna go in with my NYX dark circle concealer and what I like to do I just use my uh, ring finger because it's like one of the lightest fingers on your hand and I'm just gonna put that underneath my eyes because I do have dark circles and they are very apparent, you know. Look at like look at how much this has already, you know, taken it away, and that's only a little light layer. A little goes a long way, always. You want to do light little like thumps, very little light. Nothing too heavy on your eyes, especially underneath your eyes, because that's like the most delicate part of your skin and you want to make sure that you're not tugging on it or anything like that because it's going to cause wrinkles. No one wants that, right? right? <laughs> so to correct my eyes, I just did that. So now it's going to look a little bit more flawless when I put on my foundation. So now I'm going to be taking my foundation. I usually do two pumps at first and then I take this um, foundation brush. I got it from Target. It's like one of the ones that's like a little bit more stiffer in bristles. Um, I just find that this helps give a very nice flawless finish onto my skin. So then I just tap it just a little and then I put them like, I place the taps on my face like so just to even out the foundation at first and then I buff it into my skin. Foundation takes the longest out of my whole routine when I'm doing my face. Um, I just spend a lot of time doing my foundation. I want to make sure it looks perfect. I want to make sure it looks flawless. 
I want to make sure it's all blended in. The hair, by the way, it's like all over the place today, and um, this is like my fourth day without washing my hair. So, okay. So as you can see already, um, I, I feel like I have a really nice, flawless finish to my face. And I'm going to keep on adding it on. I'm going to use my beauty blender and do the same thing, like um, dot the um, foundation onto my skin at first. I'm going to take another pump because this, like, it gives you enough. But, like, I just like doing, like, three pumps uh, just to give my skin, like, the overall flawless finish that I usually do. Alright, and then we're going to tap that into the skin. And then we're going to press it into the skin. And this is just going to help it like stay. It's going to help um, give you a more flawless finish. And it's just going to do good things to your skin, believe me. And then the rest, whatever I have, I usually just put on my neck. And just bring it down. Because you never want to forget about your neck. <laughs> For concealer, I'm using my Kat Von D Locket. And this is in the color Warm. Oh, by the way, my foundation, the color is in 31. Oh, 31. So, when doing my no makeup makeup look, I don't want it to like look like my face is completely like boom highlighted or anything like that. So, I like taking concealers like this one. Um, that are more close to my skin color. So what I recommend, I love this Kat Von D one and then I love the Naked Concealer. Those two are like my, my favorite ones that help give me that like that finish that is not like super brightening. It's just going to help give my face like a nice matte look to it. And then I usually use my Beauty Blender once again. What I'm going to be doing is setting my face with a um, translucent powder. I've been using the Kat Von D translucent powder lately. Um, this stuff is great. It's the Locket setting powder and the color translucent, obviously. Um, so what I usually do is I will take some, usually I'll bake it on my face, like if I do that like for like an everyday thing, but just because this is our no makeup makeup look, I'm just going to lightly tap it into the product and then tap it on the side so it's almost like there's like hardly any product and then I'm gonna set my eyes under eyes of course because I don't want this to crease a little product goes a long way take a little and then just buff the rest into my skin I love this stuff so much. I I go between this and then the Laura Mercier uh, translucent powder, and they're like my two. Favorite. Ooh, they're like my two favorite things. Everything is falling. <laughs> so now onto cheeks because I do love having rosy cheeks, of course. And um, just you know, I want to. I don't want to look like a porcelain doll. That's just like oh, you know. I want to have some color onto my skin. So what I usually do is just take. This is a Sephora colorful. Um, it's actually a contour thing. I don't know. It's um, it's in the color passionate. I know that Kylie Jenner uses it, which is why I got it. TBH. And then see, it just gives you like a nice color, just very very lightly because this stuff is very very strong. It's like a very pigmented uh, color. All right. For bronzer today, I'm going to be using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, and then this is in the color Medium Deep. Alright, and then what I like to do, see, I just like doing a very light contour, because my cheeks aren't very, like... You know, it's, and they're not chiseled or anything like that. I have big cheeks, okay? Um, so I just like doing a little, little something just to give me a little bit more color. And then what I like to do as well um, is lightly, like this is not intense at all because once again, this is supposed to be looking like we have no makeup on. Mm -hmm. Next is the eyebrows. The eyebrows, okay? My eyebrows, like I said earlier on, 
please excuse them. They have not been groomed for a very long time. For my eyebrows, um, I'm gonna probably do like a eyebrow video, so I'm just gonna go through this really, really fast, because I just, I, I, for no makeup, makeup look, I'm just kind of filling them in just a little bit. Why do my, my eyebrows just look so hairy today? They just look super, super thick. By the way, that was my Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow powder duo. And I'm in the color Soft Brown. So for my eyes, what I'll take first is my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I'm going to put that onto my eyes. Ever so lightly because obviously we're not going to be using a ton of shadow today for this look. But today I'm going to be using the Sephora color. Alright, so what you want to do now is take a fluffy brush of some sort or a crease brush, whatever eyeshadow brush you can get your hands on, and then I just like to put that right into my lid, just all over. This is just going to give you a little bit of color that you need, you know, not a lot or anything like that, because obviously this is supposed to, when, once again, look like we're not having any makeup on. So that's literally all I do when I, if I have to, if I want to put like a little bit of color on my, on my lids just to like make me look a little awake, you know, things like that. Um, I also like to put a little bit in my inner corner just to brighten up my face just a little bit more. So I just put that right in my inner corner. So now on to mascara. So I'm taking my, of course, my L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. And since I have like longer lashes, like I usually, uh, one, I usually don't even curl them because they already curl by themselves. And um, two, I don't usually put on fake eyelashes because I, I feel like that they're already like long enough that I don't need them. So that sounded like I was bragging and it's really not. I like putting lashes on, okay? I usually do put lashes on in my tutorials, but not today. Boom. Look at that difference already. Let's do the bottom lashes. Woo! Alright, and now I'm going to let you in on a little tip that I have. So if you ever feel like you have a mascara running down your eye, just like a little bit if like something clumps down or whatever, or you think that the bottom lashes get too clumpy, what I usually do is take a tissue or a napkin, more, more of like a, like a paper towel, and then I, go, I just go underneath my eye like this and just wiggle it. And then that's going to help take off like any excess um, mascara that like doesn't belong there. Last but not least, your lips. So now take whatever lip gloss or whatever lipstick, whatever you want. If you want to like do that, you can. Or you can just go with like your regular lip, whatever. I like using lip glosses. This is my favorite one and it's almost running out. I'm so upset. Um, this is Boy Bait uh, for, from MAC and it was from their holiday collection. Uh, I think either last year or the year before and it's almost gone. I could cry. I'm about to go to my CCO and see if they have it. Yeah, so this is my no makeup makeup look. I usually um, wear this if I'm like going out with my friends or something like that. If we're going to like lunch or something, like, you know, like I don't want to put on like a ton of makeup and things like that type of day. Like one of those school days that like you're almost running late, uh, but you'll you have like about like 10 minutes to do your makeup. Like this is the look that I would usually do. Maybe not as intense with my foundation, but this is the look that I usually do. So that is it. That is my no makeup makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below what else you guys want to be seeing on this channel because of course I want to hear all of your requests and I can't wait to film more videos. So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe before you leave. There'll be a little uh, circle over here with my face on it and a subscribe button. And then if you are on a mobile device, there is a subscribe button down there in the description-ish box thing. I'm a bobber. Alright, so anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye!
Oh, 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 oh,